And this should be... Oh, wow, it climbs a lot more than it showed on the map. Let me make sure... Yeah, I'm going the right way. Dang. I will never play on keyboard again. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right? Everything's so much smoother. I want to test a free cam you can control it with controller. Uh, it's a little weird. Um, I'm just gonna warn you. Uh. Oh. I mean, you could probably set it to work with controller, but like... I think I ended up trying it one time, and it was just, like, really jumpy and weird. Yeah, it's not doing anything for me. Yeah. But, like, when I say it was really jumpy and weird, like, this was from a long time ago, and I don't remember how I got it to do it. Not from right now. Does it have secondary? It may. Yeah. It yeah. yeah, there's... And back into game cameras. There we go. That ladder on the rack, uh, I modeled that as well. Oh, you modeled the ladder? That's really cool. What did you uh, What did you use to model all this stuff? No, uh, it's 3ds Max. Um, Froggy and everybody uses it, but uh, people like uh, horses. He uses Blender. Mhm. Mm because he pumps out stuff that you gotta gotta measure. Because he puts his stuff up for sale. Yeah. So. And they want it to be legit. Right. Not that you can't do that in 3ds Max, but for him, it's just a little better, I think. I've like I've always heard like people that make mods for not even like just this game but like for other games too like anything that involves modeling there's always like a debate like blender 3ds max you know what to use and why um then there always seems to be like this debate going on on you know which one is better for what so i was taught the first person that taught me how to make mods was risky. Okay. And then I kind of got away from him and then learned from Banks and Froggy and yeah. Terminator. Everyone in our group, we all worked together. So did you have like any mod like modeling experience at all before you started or did you just learn? Nope. Just learn as I go. That's awesome. I have mass like massive respect for anybody that just learns, like, just picks something up and then just learns as they go and like I mean, hey, uses hey, their that's resources. What, that's what Spawn and Brute did. They just they just looked at this game and just said, "Yeah, I'm gonna make this thing awesome." I mean, and they I, they're still they've still got some of the best mods ever made, in my opinion. Right. Most of their stuff. The only reason it looks so good is because they put so much time into textures. They all do it in Substance Painter and stuff. Yeah, that's true. You want this one or you want me to grab this one? Uh, do you have eight or four? Eight. Dang it. I got four. I thought you were going to go with four, but whatever. Oh, crap. I thought you wanted me to get eight so, like, I could get one and you could get a different one. Oh, well. Yeah, you get this one. I'll go to another one. Okay. There goes that same guitar riff. I don't know if that's copyrighted music. It shouldn't be, but I don't think it is because I've never gotten I've never gotten hit for it at like ever. So I'm not worried about it. Like straight up, not worried about it. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, it's a hill there, bud. <laughs> Nothing a little uh, low 
low low one can can't fix. Yeah, right. Um so do you do any of the like I know some of the modders um play around with like oh what is it like like RC crawlers and stuff in real life. Do you do any of that? Nope. No. I've never had a legit RC car. I don't ride four wheelers. I don't do anything. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, to You're be f boring. I don't like you. I'm just kidding. Nah, to be hey, to be fair, like I I don't I don't even have like an off road rig right now, so. <clears throat> Like I've thought about, I've I've thought heavily actually. I've thought heavily about getting back into the off road thing, but like every time, and this is always like because it's it's like such a battle. It's like every time I think about getting back into an off roader, I'm like, yeah, but 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 race car parts, but you know. I gotta spend money on this too, you know. Yeah, well, it's like race car parts, you know. It's like race car parts or or a Jeep, you know, like lap times or a jeep and it's uh, like not saying one is better than the other but it's like you just kind of have to you know and i'll probably end up getting back into a, a off-roader pretty t like maybe sometime soon but but i don't know i if if i think about it from the standpoint of like where like where my heart is my heart is in the uh is 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 definitely in the car stuff to a to a really big degree my heart's in the off-road stuff too it really is but um but i really do enjoy like being out on the track i actually as we film this because i'm not sure off the top of my head when this is going up but as i film this um this weekend i'm actually going to be at road atlanta all weekend doing uh doing some testing doing some testing on one of my cars and one of the uh, one of the shops I work with, um, one of their cars. So it'll be it'll be a fun weekend. Again, as I as as I record this, may or may not be as I post it. <laughs> so whoa. Does your graphics mod ever look oversaturated? I have the contrast and uh, brightness tweak. Oh, okay. Because mine sometimes looks a little oversaturated. The green is too green. Yeah, that well... The rock is too bright, you know? <laughs> well, like, I mean, like right now, for example, the green is really green, and reds are really red. Yeah, I'll probably mess with it the next time we stop. I mean, I know that this map has, like, lumber mills and stuff on it, but I wouldn't want to tow it like a semi-trailer through here. That's probably the last thing I would want to actually try to log this with. make for a fun video because it would just be me getting stuck over and over again but wait this thing's supposed to have a trailer what do you mean this thing's supposed to have a trailer it's supposed to have the trailer from the old timers dlc um well I, for it. I never noticed that until now well, it does not, uh, <laughs> said trailer's not there, bud, so. <laughs> I wonder if, like, if there's a, like, maybe a line that, that got missed or something. Then again, you know more about coding this game than I do. A lot more, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I deleted it at some point. What, you deleted the code line? Yeah. The only time I ever started messing with the code in this game was back in the first spin tires when, I I don't know. I mean, I didn't really, like, mess with too much. I just literally, like, would pick, like, a random, like, stock truck and, like, 
do really dumb stuff, like go in and turn the torque up to like stupid numbers. To the That's the first thing that everybody does. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. And I'm talking stuff that I did, like... That's the first thing that I did. Yep. And now look where I am. I mean, that's, that, like, like, we're talking, like, things that I did, like, five years ago. You know what I mean? Like, I immediately was like, I'm gonna take the 8x8, turn the torque up all the way, and try to send it into outer space. I, but I think, like, everybody that's ever modded this game, has, to any degree, has done that. I put the UAZ torque to, like... Nine trazillion or some crap. Jesus. And I not only crashed the game, but I had to restart my computer. Oh, it like, oh, God, it like tore your computer up. Well, Windows Explorer wasn't responding. That's that's terrifying. Oh, and do you remember in spin tires? I pretty sure it wasn't around back then but i think it was 2015 uh there was like a time bomb that the devs put yes yes i remember uh yes because i remember the time bomb between the developers yep and the publishers yep and the the publishers i i don't even remember how it went but like there was like some update or like dlc that was like supposed to go out maybe and then um and then instead of that going out, the time bomb went out instead. That must have sucked. Yeah, it was it was annoying. Um, it was bad. But even back then, even back then, like there was a there was like a mod, um, kind of like kind of like Spin Tires mod that we have now. Um, but there was a mod that basically would go in and reverse it, and basically everybody in the community just used that until, until they re-updated the game and took the time bomb out. But I don't know if you've played the, um, have you played the new, like, I guess the new old spin tires where literally it rains all the time? Nope. Really? Because they're seriously, like, so proud about the fact that they... They were like, yeah, we're gonna put rain in the game. And so, literally, it rains every... Every... Every second of every minute of every day in game. It freaking rains. Constantly. It is so annoying. <laughs> Jeez. That's worse than having it just cloudy in this game. Well, yeah, just cloudy in this game. Whereas in that game, it, like, it's... It's cloudy, dark, and rainy, and they're like, yeah, and the great new thing is, you're gonna have even less visibility, and I'm like, cool, like, thumbs, I congrats to the Russians who want that, but cool. Yeah, it's like, I guess there's people that want that, maybe? I mean, they, now, I'll give them this, they have trains, which is kind of cool, and, like, they kind of want to get to the point where they have, like, train networks on maps, which... That, that's cool, but like... Oh, there's a train on a map in this game. There is. Uh, was it Lost City? Something like that, yeah. But, um... That, that map did have boats. Um, that was a pretty intricate map. Yeah. And to be, to be fair, I can't remember... Well, I can't remember if that was the first map that had boats or not. Maybe. I know, uh, back when you and CCS was, were playing, you made a boat. He, he was trying to. Yeah, he was trying to make boats. He, I think, he pretty much just, like, stopped making mods for the game, like, entirely and just kind of took up modeling. Right. 